Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to uh, try and recreate the GitHub blog website uh, using Tailpress. Uh, Tailpress is a uh, boilerplate theme for WordPress using Tailwind CSS and Laravel Mix. A couple of people uh, requested a video on how to get started with uh, Tailpress. Um, so I thought, why not try and uh, recreate the GitHub blog, uh, or at least see how far we can go. I'm going to stop after 30 minutes. Uh, there might be several parts to this video in addition, uh, but uh, we'll see about that. Um, for now, I have already installed uh, a WordPress installation. I've already cloned the repository from Tilpress. Um, if you want to know how you get started with Tilpress, there's another video about that on my YouTube channel. Uh, but I've already done that and I've also uh, already run the NPM scripts. Um, so we're basically ready to get started. Okay, so let on over, let's head on over to the uh, code editor. And one of the first things I would like to do is rename everything uh, from, tail, uh, from tailpress to the GitHub blog. So the functions and a couple of file names. So we'll just do a quick find replace. Maybe make the font a little bigger. Mm. You know, just going to open up my settings. I'm going to increase the font size a little bit, but also the line height. Then it might be a little, mm. not sure about this. Something like this. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Um, so we'll replace Tilpress with the GitHub blog. Replace. Um, we'll have to re rename that file. Um, I guess that's it. So we'll rename the file there. The file here. Get a blog. Um, Start CSS. Let's rename the team to the GitHub blog. The GitHub blog again. Uh, the GitHub blog team made with Tailpress. Version 0, 0 0.1. Text domain, the GitHub. Blog. All right. So I guess we have the basics out of the way now. Uh, no. We need to replace a couple of Tilpress instances here as well. Looks good. All right, so let's uh, let's run npm watch so that uh, the changes we make will be uh, will be resulting in compiled assets. All righty, hmm. wait a second. I'm going to quickly uh, rename this one as well. Um, replace everything and also I want to disable the editor styles compiling because that slows down compiling a little bit and I don't need it at this point. Uh, the editor styles is used to also uh, create the styling uh, within the block editor of WordPress. So. We'll disable this for now. All right. Let's run npm watch. I 
should have changed the version as well but let's just get started now um so the first thing i would like to do is uh you'll notice this top bar dark gray bar with a link back to github.com so we'll get started adding this uh, head on over to header.php also maybe again replace still press here but another thing let's also remove the uh, the introduction message for some reason can't remove it okay um all right uh there's also a little bit of boilerplate with regards to the logo uh i'm not going to use the custom logo that you could define with the uh, customizer i'm just going to hard code the logo so we'll remove it like this but keep this to work with later um, okay so the uh, the dark bar let's edit here uh, so it's a dark gray so I guess something like uh, uh, 700 or something it will have a bit of a padding top and bottom and the text will be set on the link so back to github text white and i guess the, um, the font size was pretty small so let's go ahead with sm and also center or at least put the, the link inside a container, which is centered. Let's see what happens now. Okay. Um, I guess the text needs to be a bit smaller and the gray is not a hundred percent correct but let's keep it like this for now but we'll make the text a little bit smaller and i think if we change the gray to 800 maybe it's a bit closer yeah it's a little bit closer yeah and maybe the padding to three looks good enough for me at least for now okay so the next step would be to uh, add the logo um, I see a bit of duplication here we don't want to use uppercase so remove this and we already have LG specified there, so. And I think the extra bolt can be removed as well. So we'll need a logo file. I have already saved the uh, SVG on my desktop. So we'll create a images folder within the resources folder. And then we can add uh, image uh, get style sheet directory Yuri resources images logo logo dot SVG. I'm guessing 12 or something um, and the margin right of 4 
let's see what happens now. Well, that's not what we want. Let's see. Oh, I used the wrong function. Uh, directory. Here we. Yes, it's a little bit too big. So I guess eight. And let's add flex um, and center it. Mm. Oops, I need to put that on the uh, on the link. Yep. And this seems to be a mono font. So we'll use the font mono class for that. Um, like this. Mm. It's not perfect, but it will do for now. Um, one thing I noticed is that this website appears to be a bit smaller. 12, around 1260 pixels in width. And I believe the, uh, the, the standard for the still press team is, um, uh, around 1500. So we'll change the screen. Uh, width. Let's see how we do that. Uh, or rather breakpoints, I guess. Yep. Um, let's copy this. Head on over to our Tailwind file. Uh, does this need to? Does it need to be within the team? Yep. Inside screens. Okay, we'll drop the uh, to Excel and we'll keep those and change this to 1260. Let's see if this is any better. Close enough for me at this point. Okay, so we have the logo. Uh, the next step would be the navigation. Um, so let's configure one. Menus, primary menu, and what do we have here? We have change log, community, company. Um, let's add a couple. Um, engineering enterprise. Let's not add them all, let's just Keep it like this, and we'll have one item that has a submenu, community, for example, education, events. Let's add those. And let's put them as sub items under community. And publish. All right. So as you can see, um, the submenu is not really working. Uh, so recently there was a issue created by someone and um, that resulted in me making a couple of adjustments to uh, Tailpress, which makes it easier to create submenus. And I actually added a snippet, which I'm going to copy now. Um, and within the snippet, 
you'll see uh, the group utility class being added in combination with the group hover on the display utility. Um, so we'll have to add this to our Tailwind config as well. But let's first copy this. Like that. Um, should be pretty much okay. And copy this. Uh, here. Let's see what happens now. So this works. Uh, but the styling is a little bit different. It's a white background with a shadow. And different font. So let's see. Um, the background gray will be white. We'll add a shadow, some more margin, and the font mono here. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, the margin seems to be a little too much. And also, the line height seems to be a little different. So let's add leading loose or something. And also, the submenu needs to be centered, um, which we can do. We'll have to. Remove the right zero, I think, to left. I guess something like this. Pretty close. And also another thing that we might want to do is say with full, we'll also have a max width of um, LG or something. Uh, apparently not LG, maybe something like this. Um, what am I doing wrong? Max width. I would say this should work. Am I doing it somewhere else? With full, yeah, this should be good. Strange. Max width. Let's say, for example, this. What happens then? Nothing happens. Um, I am making a error. What I need to do is I need to specify. Oh, wait a second. It's due to this, I guess. So this is unexpected. Um, maybe for now then just specify fixed width. Otherwise this takes too long. Let's let's keep it like this. This. Um, now there is some sort of arrow here. Um, let's see. In the before, apparently. Um, how do I grab 
before. <laughs> oh, how am I getting? I, I wanted to stay in this state so that I can get to the before uh, bit. Oh, it's here. I think I, I am going to um, copy this for now and add it as custom. Yeah, add it as custom, uh, custom CSS because this is too much now to do with Tailwind utility classes. So we'll do this, copy this bit, and I think. Um, let's add it here. I don't think we need to do any adjustments, but I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe a little bit. Yeah, we do need to change something. So let's use the primary menu ID. And alter this. It's there, but it's barely noticeable, I guess, due to the shadow. So let's create a bigger shadow. The shadow is not positioned correctly, so we don't see the arrow, and apparently there is not a shadow that allows us to get the same effect as here. So we'll just see what kind of box shadow is defined. And I guess let's, we'll just copy it and um, adjust our config a little bit. Uh, box shadow, call it uh, behind or something. And then we can say shadow behind. Okay, I don't think it's centered. It's not exactly in the center. So I guess we can do that with um, transform um, or rather translate. I think if we use a negative, Let's see, uh, do we have a minus 50? Yes. So if I were to add transform and then this, okay. Oh, maybe it's because of this. Yes, that's better. And also, it needs to be a bit lower. So we have, let's see, we have no top or something specified. So we would specify like top eight or something. Seems about right. Okay. There's also this little arrow here. And we also have a hover state of blue. Uh, let's see what comes close to that. Colors. I think 600 or something, blue 600. 
Um, so let's add hover. I, I'm not sure if this is going to work actually. Um, because it probably needs to be specified on the A. Tag. Well, it does work. But it's also happening on the submenu items. And I'm not sure about the color either. Uh, maybe 700 is better. And Maybe specify the text color here specifically to prevent it from uh, be turning blue as well. Like that. Hmm. Okay. Does it have a... It does have an hover. The blue is not precisely correct, but we'll stick with it for now. And also add the hover state text in blue, uh, what did we use, 700. Yeah, that doesn't work. It needs to be done on the Lee level. Um, so let's add Lee class uh, one, which stands for the depth. Add this. That is better. All right. Uh, one thing that I noticed is when I'm hovering that it is very sensitive. If I don't precisely go through the middle with my mouse, it, the submenu disappears. As you can see. Um, I'm not sure. Let's roll with it for now, but that could be improved. Something worth looking into. Um, all right. Uh, the font appears to be different, but pretty close. But it might be nice to use the correct font. Let's see. Enter UI. Mm. I think that is a Google font that I've used before. Enter fonts Google. Yes. But is it Enter or Enter UI? Is that a different font? Looks the same. Looks okay to me. Um, let's uh, use the the light one, the regular one, the medium one, semi bolt and bolt. I think that's enough. And add this to our custom .cs no to our app .css. Uh, and we need to specify the font in our config file. So I always forget how I need to do that. Uh, font family. Team font family. And then the sans font. Font family. Um, we probably need to extend. Like this, and then we'll say uh, enter. And then it can fall back on those. All right. 
that looks better. Um, I think font size is pretty much the same. Um, let's stick with it. Um, I don't, I'm not sure about the search function. I want to move on to this part. Uh, we might um, tackle the search function in a different video. Um, I think it would be good to move on to this part of the, of the page. Um, so what we'll do is uh, we have a index.php. Uh, but since the front page is quite extensive, I think we just, it might be better to create a um, front page template file. So let's do that. And just copy the index over. And we're still okay. So I guess we have a two column. Um, let's use flex for that. Um, wrap this. Um, this is something I guess we, I, I, a couple of months ago, I wrote an article called, called uh, splitting the WordPress loop. And this might come in handy now, because as you can see, uh, we have a post here, and then we have a couple of other posts here. Um, we could do a if statement and add a counter, see if it's the first post, it needs to be displayed like this, and then all other posts need to be display displayed like this but the code can become quite messy if you do that with if statements. So I like to use a technique called splitting the WordPress loop. Uh, this one. And instead of doing these kinds of things, um, we would use something like this which I like. Um, so I'm just going to copy this function and paste it in our functions.php at the bottom. Use the prefix. And um, uh, get posts from loop amount int callback mixed and it doesn't return anything All right um so we could if i'm not mistaken drop the the half post and the post functions Although, let's remove this. First, it's a 50-50 um, grid, I believe. Yeah. So we'll need two. And Here we'll get one post from the loop. One and the callback. Um, let's do that one other line. Let's does it does it uh, I, rem I don't remember if if you need to set the global for the post 
to be honest. What happens if I do get the title and define variable count? Hmm. That is unexpected. Uh, yeah, apparently an error in my uh, article. But now it works, so I probably need to uh, fix this in the article. We'll do that after I finish the video. Um, Okay, so we have Hello World. Let's see, we have a thumbnail. So let's add that. And we can later on extract uh, into a different, um, into a template part, or maybe do that now. Um, large post or article. Let's go with this for now. Might not be the best name, but. And we want to see the title in a H2. And a pretty big one. Uh, a little bit of margin, I guess. Uh, what do we have more? author with the avatar um gets is it gets the author meta I'm not sure if this is going to work, but it might. Whoops. Uh, default null alt null and um, array. We want to define a couple of classes. Uh, because it's a rounded image, so we'll add rounded full. Let's see what we have for now. Not much because we don't load the template part yet. So let's do that first. Get template part, uh, template parts, uh, large post. Okay. Not seeing an author. So probably the author meta is something uh, we uh, we need to do differently. Hmm, it should work. We need to echo out the avatar. And why is it not rounded? This is a, uh, I, I think, this is due to it. Rounded full is used by Bootstrap. And after using Bootstrap for years and years, it's very difficult to. Hmm. Oh, wait a second. Rounded. And it might just be full. Yes, okay. A little bit smaller. And let's add the author name, uh, the author, this can be removed, and add a little bit of margin, looks pretty good to me, text needs to be gray, or grayer like 600 or something. And 
uh, let's add the thumbnail. Let's go ahead with large for now and wrap this all in an article. And wrap these bits in the header. This is not not really important important at this stage, but um, let's make the link clickable. We'll use the permalink function. Okay, let's let's. Uh, I believe I already uploaded the featured image. If I'm not, nope, I did not. So let's quickly grab it. Sorry, this file type is not permitted for security reasons. Why not? Um, all right, so this image is originally a, um, using an extension. Hmm. Why wouldn't this work? Already exists replace. It's very large, but let's go ahead and use it anyway. Hopefully it works now. Yes, all right. And also let's copy the text. And the body as well. this all right um one thing that is different is that the um there seems to be a uh, smaller container here or a smaller width uh 1046 so we could do something like uh, max width um, I guess screen width I'm not sure about this utility it might I might be making a typo here yeah um, let's see max width um uh, screen all right that's better and also center it like this so this looks pretty good uh let's remove the border from the menu because there is no border and Okay, maybe add another post quickly. And I think we're going to end this. Uh, I just had a quick scare because I thought that ScreenFlow uh, was not active, but I see it's here so it's still recording so i just thought for a quick second that i was doing all this without it being recorded so wow <laughs> let's keep going copy the text no Featured image for this one. Um, and just 
alter the publication date a little bit so that the other one stays uh, the most recent. Okay. And now we can just like copy this and do this. And how many posts do we want to see here? One, two, three. So let's say three. And here we'll do a small post. Not really sure about those names. I guess that could be named better, but let's go ahead anyway. And we have the title and the author. So we'll copy this. No thumbnail. The title is a bit smaller. So let's use 2XL. Remove the margin top. Keep the bottom, I guess. Let's see what happens. Nothing happened. Hmm. Why is that? Small post. The template part. Hmm. Not really sure why this doesn't work. Ah, it's scheduled. Aha, uh -huh, I messed up a little bit. Uh, whoops. Yeah, let's just alter the date. Now it's published, so it should show up. Yeah. So we need a little bit of spacing here. The font size seems to be about right, but a, it, I guess it's a little heavier. So we'll uh, say font medium. And we'll add a little bit of spacing. Um, using padding. let's say 12 and add a negative margin here that is not going to work because we are already using a negative or a margin to center something so we'll need to add an additional class and move flex over here all right okay so it's a bit too much seems about right and the margin bottom is a little bit too much change that to um, eight and also, I guess this one, this font needs to be a bit heavier as well. So let's go to large post and add font medium as well. Also, it's probably a good thing to add this. This will add all the classes that WordPress uh, would add automatically to uh, to posts. So it's a good thing to add this. Okay, so this looks pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna leave it at this for now. Um, we didn't really get as far as I thought we would get, but um, it, uh, it, uh, on the other hand, it did go pretty well with a couple of minor hiccups. Um, let me know if you would like me to continue this. Um, and um, maybe I'll see you in the next video.
Thank you for watching.